We have our first atmospheric river of the season arriving tomorrow. Now, while these kind of storms have always been around, the term atmospheric river only dates back to the 1990s. At any moment, there are three to five of these happening around the globe, but you can't see them with regular weather satellites, and you can't see them on a water vapor image like this, and the reason is it's so low to the ground. So I've drawn it in for you. So what an atmospheric river does is it takes the moisture from the tropics, and it moves it towards the poles. It's literally an invisible river of moisture in the sky and they're equivalent to 25 times the flow of the Mississippi River and can carry 10 and a half trillion gallons of water a day. Let's look at this a different way now. An atmospheric river, it's like a highway. So I'm going to bring in the ocean and lay down the AR. It's narrow. It's only between 200 and 375 miles wide, and it's low to the ground, below 10,000 feet. Airplanes travel at 30,000 feet. Now here's what happens when they move over the west coast. Our mountains cause the atmospheric river to rise. This lifting creates clouds, rain and snowfalls, and because there's so much moisture in the atmosphere, it's like a sponge being squeezed out. Now there is a scale that tracks the potential impacts. An AR1 is beneficial. AR5 is hazardous and can cause life-threatening floods. The one moving in this week is a two for us, mostly beneficial.